think of something. Think about being unhappy every day. Very sad. Think about having bad thoughts about your life come to you often. Sometimes uh, it may seem easier to just lay in bed, stay asleep for so long. You may drink things you should not drink. You may abuse or take things that you should not take. As it seems, every day is a struggle. Please really think about it. If you are, if you were that way, how would you react with others? Please think about it. You are unhappy. You are very sad. You may be even depressed. And it is very hard for you to really be comfortable even when you are at home. So when you interact with others, how are you going to be? Please think about that. For one, people may irritate you very easily. Like, even if a person is not trying to irritate you because of the way you are, because you have so many struggles within, like, you may get upset with people really fast. Not only that, the way you speak to people may seem very harsh or very, how can I say it, not so much short, but in like a, a rude way, if you understand what I am trying to say. Okay, you may be a very negative person as well. Perhaps day in and day out, you will have constant negative thoughts. Like, uh, it may be so much more simple for you to see the negative than T-H-A-N, than the positive. There may be so much positive around you, but because of the way you are, you see mostly negative. And think about this. If you are feeling that way, won't you be super focused on your feelings? Like, so super focused on your feelings, but not really paying attention on how you affect others. Because how can you? You are very unhappy. You are sad, maybe depressed. How can you really think so much about how you are affecting others when, as it seems, like you are holding on so tightly to keep yourself together. Think about that. Okay, imagine yourself being that way. So what will people think when they encounter you? Think about that. Some people may say like, hey, what is that person's problem? Why is that person so mean? Why is that person so angry? You know, all I asked that person for a pen and that person just 
cussed at me and yelled at me and said that I am the problem over a pen. But inside of your mind, you were already unhappy. You were already, you know, in a sense, unstable inside. So, yes, it may be very difficult to interact with others. Of course, your response to some things may be over-exaggerated. I really want you to think about this. So if you are this very unhappy person, wouldn't it be very hard to be happy? If you are a very unhappy person, chances are you don't really like or love yourself. You may be able to put up a front in front of people that you are so confident, that you are so happy, that you are so whatever, but inside, I believe you don't, I believe in many cases, you won't really love or like yourself. So if you don't really like or love yourself, how can you like or love people? If you don't have it inside of you for yourself, if I am saying this right, if you don't have love for yourself, how can you give love to others? How can you show love to others? You may give an imitation of it, but how can you really give it if you don't really have it for yourself? Let's say I hate myself. Let's say that I am always depressed and angry and whatever else. How can I love other people when I don't love myself? I want to change, but I don't know how to change. I don't know how to love myself. So if I don't know how to love myself, how can I love others? Think about that. Let me go a bit further. Think back when you were a child. Think back on how your mother or father or both were. For some people, you may say, Uncle Kev, my mother did not give me love or much love or whatever, much love or care. My father did not give me much love or care. Okay. With listening to what I have already told you, what do you believe the cause was? Or should I say is? If your parents were angry so much, unhappy so much, let's say they would get drunk so much, you know, take those pills too much, if you know what I am saying, stayed in their room all day, easily triggered, what can you say about that? Chances are your parents were or are unhappy. Chances are they were or are uh, angry, and they probably don't love themselves. And what did I say before? If you don't love yourself, how can you love others? Well, Kevin, you know, I hate myself, but somehow I love my child. How? If you are the type to be unhappy, 
Think about when you are depressed. Think about when you are very sad. Do you really have the ability to really focus on others? Perhaps some, but I believe with some people, when they are feeling that way, as I described earlier, I believe the focus is on themselves so much. Not only that, I believe, I don't know really how to describe it. I believe when you are really, really depressed, how can I say this? It's like, I guess in some cases, you can be so exhausted, so tired. I don't think it is always a person wants to be mean to people or hate people and stuff like that. I believe it comes down to how they are feeling now. To go back to my point, you may blame your parents for not really showing you much care, not really showing you much love and stuff, but they probably had struggles of their own. They probably had or have mental health issues of their own. I am not saying you have to go over their house and all that stuff right here, but I believe there is always a reason why people do certain things. If you are angry and unhappy so much, people may see you as a very rude, uh, hateful or unpleasant person. Are you understanding what I am saying to you? I believe many of these people need help. And also, I believe many of these people self-delete themselves as well, if you understand what I am saying. These people need prayer. With everything I have told you, if a person like this tries to start a fight with you, what are you going to do? Are you going to yell and cuss and scream at them back? Like, hey, Uncle Kev, if someone treats me poorly, I am going to come right back at them. Is that smart? Is that wise? That person, chances are, I don't know everyone, but chances are, if you have known that person for a while, that person has been angry and unhappy so much. Even if you use logic in the argument you guys are having, in many cases, they may not take it. What is your logic to their pain. Think about that. You are emotional, emotionally hurting inside. Someone is trying to speak logic to you. What is going to speak louder than your logic, their feelings? Even if their feelings is not right. Even if their feelings is wrong. Because they are feeling it. I believe much of the time they are going to go with what they are feeling than your true words. So what should you do? Be quiet. 
close your mouth. But Kevin, I don't like it when people accuse me falsely. Kevin, I don't like when people do me wrong. Kevin, I don't like it when people bring trouble to me for no cause. So does that mean you should take your brain out of your head and begin fighting with a person that is, I believe in many cases, reacting based upon emotion? What can be solved? What can you actually say to snap it out of them to, how can I say that? What can you actually say to snap them out of whatever they are feeling? What can you say? Chances are nothing. This is one of the reasons why it is best to say nothing. Yes, of course, we may make mistakes and get into big arguments and stuff like that. And I believe in many cases, some of these people may like arguments, may like uh, fighting with people because it may be a way to not flush, but a way to uh, push out their negative feelings on you at that point of time, I guess, if I am saying it right. Be humble and be quiet. Even if one, two, three, four, five, ten people are against you, wrongly even if they are saying things about you that is false even if they are talking behind your back which <laughs> i believe for many people people are going to talk behind your back be peaceful let god sort things out let god in a sense, do the heavy lifting for you. Be humble. Close your mouth. Pray to God. You may need to fast. But stop getting on the same level of those unhappy people. I believe uh, you may say I am wrong. I believe many or all of those type of unhappy people are being manipulated by demons. So if a demon is manipulating that person, what can you say to that person to get that person to change if it is a demon pulling the strings? You have to go with spiritual warfare. Stop fighting with people. Yes, people are going to do you wrong. So what? You don't have to do wrong when people do you wrong. And let me say this too. I believe there will be people that will purposely try to irritate you so badly to get you to do things that you normally don't do. Some people may try to press you so hard to get you to react in a way that you should not. I had a person tell me that, uh, Kevin, I did this or I said this to get you mad. Why? <laughs> I believe one of the reasons when you are so unhappy, when you are, I guess I can say under the mud, you may want to make other people unhappy. Like, why should you care about another person's feelings when you are feeling so badly? 
can you even have would it be easy for you to have empathy for other people when your emotions or the way or the bad way you are feeling about yourself is so loud think about that but let me stop right here may god bless us